When I run, my lungs feel like they're opening up inside and it makes it easier to breathe. I feel free. She has had so many things go wrong with her health-wise, and she's just come through it just so amazingly. When I recognized that I had cystic fibrosis, I was on the playground in third grade, and I started coughing. And I thought to myself, oh, this is what cystic fibrosis is. This is why I go to the hospital for checkups every few months. But it was just the one time where I realized this is what CF is, and it wasn't going away. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that causes the body to produce really thick and sticky mucus in the lungs and in the pancreas. So it leads to chronic lung infection and then uh, loss of lung function. My name is Stephanie Dosick and I'm the mother of two children with cystic fibrosis. Keith is a freshman in high school. When he was diagnosed, they told us his life expectancy was about 18. So the current life expectancy is about 37, which is a pretty amazing advance in the, in the 14 years that Keith has been around. When I first started running, I wasn't all that good at it, but when I got better and better, my lungs got better and better. I can run a six minute mile. I feel good. It's not a lot of people can run a six minute mile. It's never easy to hear that your child's life expectancy is is limited and just amazes me how strong he is. He doesn't linger on it. He just moves forward and does what he needs to do to keep himself healthy. I am doing the best machine to break up the mucus inside of my lungs. I have to do it twice a day for 20 minutes a day. To have two siblings have cystic fibrosis, is not very common. My little sister really looks up to me, and when she sees me do my treatment, she wants to do hers too, because she wants to follow my footsteps. My name is Kennedy, and I'm seven years old. And when she was three and a half, she had part of her lung removed. She's so feisty, but that personality, that part of her is what's making her get through this. And why she is as strong and as healthy as she is today. My day is pretty similar to the others living with CF. The first thing I do is pop some oral pills. Uh, then I move on to my breathing treatments, uh, my chest physical therapy. Depending on the day, I'll do either running or cycling, uh, hit a yoga class. 100. Uh, take my pills throughout the day, end the day with some more breathing treatments, and then I do it all the next day. The Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, they're the reason I'm alive today. They're the ones driving and funding research. This research is changing our lives. When I started Kaleidico, within four days, I stopped and took a deep breath in, and I wasn't coughing, and I could actually breathe. I kind of opened my eyes to a future. I mean, I've never let anything stop me in the past. Now I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna be old, and I'm gonna have gray hair, and that's what I talk about all the time. My dream is for patients to be adults and grandparents and great-grandparents and have gray hair, and I know that's, that is a fact now. It's gonna happen. And I know other patients with CF are gonna have uh, more endless opportunities because of this drug. If I could have one wish, I wish would be to have a cure for cystic fibrosis. So I don't have to do my treatment machine anymore. Not have to carry around a bunch of pills. Keith and Kennedy are just truly an inspiration in every way. The way that they approach cystic fibrosis, the way that they approach life. As hard as it is to be raising two kids with cystic fibrosis, Keith and Kennedy are definitely a gift. 
I think everyone should be excited about Kaleidico. I mean, we know that it works and we know what it does. It treats the underlying cause of cystic fibrosis. It's opening the doors for other, other drugs that will treat the other mutations for everyone else with cystic fibrosis. So we're there and we're on target. We know how to do this. So just uh, remain hopeful and excited because we, uh, we're close.